Hello, loyal LOLjackers and new listeners. It's Kyle here with a brand new installment of the LOLJK Digest. What is the LOLJK Digest, you ask? It's a collection of the best bits from 10 episodes distilled into a single hour of pure listening pleasure. Myself, Joey, Kim, and Brian worked our widow fingies to the bone to bring you only the choicest comedy cuts from episodes 110 through 119. To what end? Well, if you're already a loving listener, then think of it like a little treat. Something you can send your friends to convert them into a fellow lolljacker. If you're new, then this is merely a glance into how the show operates. Don't be afraid. We all float down here. There's sexy clowns, ghost cloacas, and the good beanbags. You know, the ones that actually formed your body. Join us, won't you? Episode 110. In the grand scheme of the universe, the only person who doesn't come early is the person who doesn't come at all. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. (laughs) Very poetic. Yeah, Yeah, it is. Thank you for giving that to us. Yeah, I I mean, I I do totally understand that. I mean, I do think that there is an agreed upon social (laughs) idea. Yeah, for sure. A minimum two minutes and and 45 seconds. Yeah, I think that's a quality sexual encounter will last. Uh, I at don't, least two minutes and 45 seconds. I say I don't agree I, with Brian's number, but no. I think we should set a number. But I guess no, it is but the wait. question. But I think, what, I t- don't think, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I think, obviously, it's like, we'll say, a bummer mm-hmm. if the duration <laughs> is shorter than longer. Yeah. But I don't think anything that you're doing where the intention is to lead to ejaculation, yeah. regardless of how long, I don't feel like that's necessarily premature i feel like where it classifies as premature is like it's in your pants like stuff. yeah yeah like yeah. You're, yeah. like yeah. nothing has touched it it's yeah. not gone uh, anywhere if you've gotten inside you're good then, then, exactly like, you like i said it's a bummer if yeah. it's it real a, fast and you know it, it happens to the best of us premature. on occasion but like yeah i mean consider it a compliment yeah, more than anything. I yeah, don't, yeah, I don't yeah. So does it hot. say more about the woman or the man, though? The woman, obviously. Yeah, I she's so, so hot, so fucking hot. I don't know. So oh, hot. babe, you're so hot. <laughs> uh, okay, well then we'll go again. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. I'm, Let's I'm go to sleep. I'm tired and then now. Maybe in the morning. So reverse engineering. If we take Brian's. Uh, time Wait, two forty five. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Brian's time that he if we is take adamant. This video that we have of Brian. <laughs> Brian's time that he says is his best time. His best time. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian said his best time is two forty five. So if we reverse and Aver- hey, hey, hey. average, average. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. The one time we forgot to stop the timer counts. <laughs> <laughs> it went on for you three gotta, days. You gotta get the fuck. A 36 hour. Everybody timer. knows you gotta remove the outliers. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. No, no, no. no, no we no, made no. sweet, passionate no, love no. for three days. <laughs> Kim, and, Kim and I have Free legit me. had this conversation on, like, what's a good LOL JK product? And we landed on a toilet paper holder before she even found this. Yeah. Talking yeah, toilet paper good. holder is a very But yeah, but good talking one. was not a thing I yeah. would have ever thought yeah. of. No. I just felt like I saw wild. that and I was like, oh, that's the LLJK product. We 100% could do that. that yeah. It's like those Which things that are like hands LLJK. like this. Like the, the hands yeah. that oh, hold yeah. the toilet paper. Uh-huh. Is there a cool sculpture we could incorporate? Two, flesh ball? Two flesh dicks. ball into the thing. <laughs> two dicks. It could just be two our dicks. hands. It could be all of our hands. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But our fingers are interlocking a little bit. <laughs> no, it's like how that holds them together, but it's like our hands are like stacked, you know? Oh, it's they're like, all stacked. In yeah, like a I weird like way. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, as long as some fingers crevices touch, other finger crevices will be. Sure, no, there will sure. be no penetration. <laughs> Let fingers. me get in that hand. No. No, <laughs> no. not at all. Okay. Yeah, we could take a cast of all, all right. of our hands on top. Uh-huh. Let's, of let's, let's, let's keep making some sounds here. Um, Nice and clean. Like if it's gone multiple in a row, it can comment on the fact oh, that oh, yeah. uh, well, this gotta, is a messy one or yeah, something yeah. like marker, huh? The crayon, eh? Cram, uh, I I would yeah, and it should be able to tell how long you've been there. So if it's like forty five minutes, you're like, damn man, <laughs> everything you okay? all right? Yeah, 
You're not going to be able to walk. Do you need Do you <laughs> need me to call 911? <laughs> hey, bud. Your feet asleep? <laughs> you all right? Did you fall in? You fall? Prolonged sitting on the toilet can cause hemorrhoids. <laughs> Friend? What book you Friend? Read? What book are you reading? <laughs> What's your favorite game? <laughs> Cell phone game. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. And then Brian comes on and he reads the entirety of <laughs> the <Dude>. Luke. <laughs> Probably fit all on of them. That, that, Benny, be that Benny so Gesserit good. witch. A 40, <laughs> a forty hour reading straight. It just is reading through the night. Brian's yeah. voice coming from your back. I finished you already. The Gom Jabbar. The, 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 the spice tinged eyes look deeply. <laughs> What if but I think go- you should pronounce all the dumb sci-fi shit I actually way think wrong. That, I think- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gomkaba! <laughs> the Gom Jabber. The Spice, the spice Man- Melange. I was about to do that one. Muabdeb. 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 Quadach, Quadach, Hatterad. I thought wow. J.K. Rowling was writing another Harry Potter book. Oh. Oh, probably. I don't know. No. She- I heard that she was- I heard that- all of the characters would be gay and all of them would be minorities and dead but not until after the book was published years later <laughs> when it was cool twist <laughs> they were all gay and they were all minorities just like I planned right okay She's so cool brilliant. JK you did it yeah. well done you're very progressive good job clean it's just like, we, you're, you're an old British lady we know you meant they're all white <laughs> We know. <laughs> Everyone knows. Your world. You, we all still loved it. It's universally yeah, beloved. It's... We all knew. You insane woman. <laughs> She's you got rich, so many billions woman. of dollars. Rich, crazy person. My God. That stuff's wild. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What a wild thing to do to your material after the fact. It's like insulting to everyone. <laughs> I can see. Like across the board. Yeah. I mean, the scenes for St. Dumbledore was gay wasn't. It's super not off the, base. That, I mean, that stuff isn't that crazy. Like, but also, like, like, when they, like why? Like, why? Why? That's more. It's like the. Why'd the, she like, have to come out and say that? Yeah, it's because she wanted to be hip. I, I, it, that's. It feels like it's more like a desperate. Like she's been called out for not uh, really embracing for zero those representation. Yeah, so she's like constantly is kind of like backtracking, be like, ah, but did you know this? It's like all the Star Wars stuff why they're doing right uh, now, where they're like, ah. Actually, I don't even follow. Ray isn't Palpatine's. They're just saying this in a Twitter post or something. It was a clone that fucks. Ooh, a clone yeah, it was crazy. I'm interested fucks. in that movie. Yeah, it's called a clone that fucks. A clone that fucks. A Star Wars story. <laughs> I am back into Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. Oh my god. Episode one hundred eleven. So let's. Uh, Do we need to clap to sync things? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, we're, fucking... flying, we're flying loose and free. I am recording a sync track on the mixer. You do not need to do that. You can stop clapping. That's sufficient. I will turn the video back oh, on and my shirt is off. <laughs> I don't care. So don't make me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've all we've all seen it at this point in time. Joey, I've seen your whole body. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say whole. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, part I, of the whole body. Well, I have will you, say, I haven't, I actually have haven't you, seen your no? hole. Yeah, I've I seen, say, I don't think so. I've seen the trail to the hole. I've seen definitely like a good a quarter to a halfway to the hole. I'm learning lots like, of I, things. I have no idea how this has happened. I've seen enough Kyle's of your butt crack that I can guess what the hole looks like. Whoa. That's okay. uh, that's. Can you draw? Kyle, it? how often you spend your yeah. in Joey's hole? <laughs> I mean, Not like, a lot of time I, I'm these thinking days. that I could do like, uh, what's it called when you like go into a trance and just draw? What's that called? It's like the know. psychic thing. A trance. I think I could. I think I could psychically draw your your hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's my point. The weird thing is, is I would never be able to tell you if you're right or not because I can't bend that way. You could use a I series of mirrors. A series of mirrors. Yeah, Joey, just squat four over a mirror. We've four to five before. mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. like, well, here's the whole thing. It's like you could go for the TV, but you have a TV in your house. Maybe it's minimally better in this person's. But, like, if they got, like, a nice KitchenAid stand mis- mixer, <laughs> don't you go for that? 
I mean, I love the idea of Kyle <laughs> stealing from people to better his home situation. What? <laughs> not, think, not just <laughs> that's legit. I it think not, that's has, the best had, way to had steal. One of those nice, they had one of those nice look. look La Cruette. La Crusette. Uh, uh, or whatever. I took a yeah, La, La Crusette fucking Dutch uh, oven. Yeah. Dutch oven, yeah. La Crusette. Um, Kyle, I think most people steal for drug well, that, money. A La Crusette Dutch oven is an heirloom item. You give that <laughs> yeah. to your grandkids. <laughs> he said, I did uh, learn the longest poop ever recorded was 26 feet long. Nuh uh. Wow. It was by a woman in 1995, and there are pictures. Yes. And then he okay, sent me so the you pictures. would. I mean, it would have to be like a play doh. How do you, you know make I mean? that poop come out? How it would do, have. How to, do you I mean, know... like you would have to like. It would have to be a real tight, thin shit, right? Was well, it like? Do you want to see it? She she, she pooped it. It like, like down a bowling lane. Toilet. She did it like down a bowling lane. No, what? she didn't. Yeah, she like what? frog walked. Wait, are you joking? Are you being no. serious? I said Down you, you should check your uh, while she check was your chat. pooping. Do you know how awful it would be if you were the Guinness person sent to confirm this and you had to watch? Oh my god! <laughs> and she's fucking proud of it. She's got her face oh, down next to it for the picture. God. Holy fuck! How is you that? mean holy shit? Ah. <laughs> Erica Badu, I don't know who that is. Uh-huh. She, she is, is a singer. Is inventing an incense inspired by the scent of her vagina. Excellent. It's okay. what the world deserves, according to the singer. Uh, <laughs> it's what the world deserves? Does her I vagina fucking... not smell like a vagina, or does she think the world deserves a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, let's be honest. I, I I mean like I mean like there's there's you know, some vaginas are stinkier than others. I thought I, I uh, was but... about to interrupt you. I was gonna say, don't even try to say there are some vaginas that smell good. No no no. I mean the, there's the, some yes, definitely all, that smell worse all... than others, but n- I don't wanna just walk I into mean, guys, a room and smell let's... vagina. No, but there is it, like there's always the a funk. Of a crotch. It's the center of a crotch. The center of a crotch smells bad no matter how you twist it. You yes, guys, Brian, is... your wife is in the room. We know. Jesus. Guys, what no, do you no, think? No, 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 no. She just texted me. She's wearing headphones and in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, what do you think? God bless her. Don't God bless her. Screen. What do you think the name of this is called? Because I just saw the name of it, and I fucking love it. Uh, oh. Uh, scent? Oh. Um, uh, fuck. The name uh, of this freak, intimate buy. It's Frank called. Vagina. It's called. I. What do you say? I what could you say? not have come up with what that. What was it? What? Huh? What was it? Who? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> we did it, guys. What was it, Joey? Uh, no, 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 he hasn't said it yet. What? I, I, oh, I wanted I to know, you know what it. you guys said. Oh, oh, I, Joey, I thought you said it was called the intimate eye. <laughs> no. <laughs> this intimate body. No, that's it. That's, that's what oh. it's called. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to say. My guess is that it's called the intimate eye. <laughs> I I have a guess. What is yours? Snatch me up. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. You, I think my, you're thinking a little too hard. I, the name of this perfume, my, or the, what is this? My, oh, I, would say my, I would say my guess. My okay, guess what, was um, Fragina. Like is it just, is it just called Erica? It's called Badoo's Pussy. <laughs> Episode 112. Being jerks to each other. and There are... Okay, hang on. I'm going to start so we can like start clocking time for this. Welcome to an yeah. all-new well, all JK. <laughs> Saving the world. Did I, do I say podcasts? I don't no. know. Well, no. I don't, this part all is just automatic. God. I don't know podcasts. what happens. Brains. Saving... You- Saving the world one topic at a time. I got that part. At a time. It it only took 100 episodes, but we finally broke. I'm Kyle McVeigh. No. (laughs) No, don't do this. I'm Kim. (laughs) Fuck. I'm Joey. (laughs) I'm Kim. (laughs) No! I'm already Kim. There was one left. (laughs) No one wants it. (laughs) (laughs) 
don't think that's the same. <laughs> what? I don't think oh, so. In, no. in, oh, in the, the film? The film? In, in Veronica. Yeah, the film. Veronica. Film by Glenn Danzig. Uh, Everyone look up a trailer for Veronica, a film by Glenn Danzig. Um, I just want to be surprised when I watch the movie. I don't want to. I'm. You had me sold on the title. I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's yeah, don't ruin erotica. That's it. That's all I need. And violence. And his favorite band, Corn. I assume. <laughs> <laughs> that's disturbed, huh. but not that's same disturbed. Thing. <laughs> yeah, but also <laughs> fine. But also. <laughs> 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 You were thinking of a <laughs> That's what you were thinking of, Brian. Yeah, I'm not wrong, though. <laughs> so, I'm excited about Fight Island. It's so irresponsible. <laughs> so uh, if if you take the four humors, this is, say, um, for a shirt idea, if we assigned a humor to each of us, yeah. who oh, would God. be what? Mm. Uh, I t- uh, Joey's, Joey's probably black. The, I was going to say blood. I think Joey would be blood. I think Kyle would be phlegm. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> Brian's then, phlegm. Mm. Well, I would say Kyle wow. phlegm because squirts. Uh, Kim is black because she's a blood clot and constantly stopping everything. And then I'm <laughs> yellow, which is yeah. the most benign. <laughs> oh, man. And I Brian... can't argue with the reason. I can't yeah. argue with the reason. And Brian's yellow? I'm yellow because that's most benign. And like we understand what yellow is, whatever. <laughs> Okay, Brian really wow, nailed Brian. it. So really got it. Fucking nailed it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thank there you. you go. Episode 113. And so I was doing laundry and he opens the door and comes in our room all of a sudden and he's like, "Why don't do you why aren't you responding to me?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "I've been calling you." He's like, "Oh, I don't have my phone." And his eyes are all red looking. <laughs> And, and I'm like, well, what do you need? And he's like, go get your phone. And I was like, what? You can't, like, what's going on? And he's like, just go get your phone. And I'm like, oh, man, like, did he, like, really have some moment doing this? And he, like, texted me. So, like, he felt so vulnerable. He, like, texted me something, and he can't Kim. say it. And I have to go look Kim, at my phone no. or something. You know that's not the case. And so then just super I go get my phone, and I have three missed calls, and a text message that just says, come here. So, and I, so, so I go back out to the garage, and I'm like, Joey, why did I have to go get my phone? And he just goes, I need you to take a picture of my day at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and he sits back in the chair and puts the VR goggles on, and he has his bong next to him, and he's like, make sure you get this in the picture. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I was like, what am I, I supposed to do I just, with this picture? He's like, just send it to me, and then I'll send it. And I was like, why couldn't I have used your phone to do this? It's right here. And he's just like, Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> send it, send it, Kim, send I don't, it to I don't the know. news. <laughs> Kim, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, Kim, how you couldn't have just been first thought, just been like, wow, how fucking high are you right now? <laughs> like he walks out after being told, he like he's like says, leave me alone, I'm going in here, I've got this yeah. thing. And I'm gonna go jack out. In. His eyes are super red, and he's like. Get your phone. <laughs> I mean, like, I would I, I understand Kim, you are concerned that so high maybe right now, Joey had broken not. himself. <laughs> yeah. I, could, that, I was yeah, a little afraid like, <laughs> like something serious had happened mentally, emotionally for him during yeah, this experience. I, I, I could understand being concerned something Kim, like he had broken truth. himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I've only done it for 15 minutes. It goes up to uh, 30, 45 or something like Oof. that. So, like, maybe There, one of there is days. like a scenario where you walk out of the garage and you're like, I only live in my subconscious now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kim, Kim, like, Kim like never gets part of you back. <laughs> part uh, of me is always in the ethereal. Yeah, it's, in the yeah. game, yeah. It's, I, I you, become, you become Lawnmower Man. Ooh, I guess. Neat. That's what I'm trying to say. Are the graphics still as bad? <laughs> of course, they're garbage. <laughs> I, I I've always like been, made a... I've been a very uh, uh, what's the word vocal supporter of meditation, and I feel like all it is is sort of like a more gamey way to trick you into doing like a, a good meditation session. But then it yeah, gives yeah. you that one extra thing. So like I had not done it in 
probably two years now, but I used to do it every day. And it was sort of like um, what I would equate to like, you haven't drank in a long time and then you go on a bender and then you're like, yeah. oh God, this is affecting me way more than it it probably should be. Is like yeah. what that was, is like doing super meditation after having not done it in a while and also weed. And I was just like, good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> What's considered healthy and normal when it comes to pooping frequency? Perfect. Oh, okay. And yes. As it turns out, um, we asked five experts if we have to poop every day. The experts said, five of the five experts said no. Yeah. Disagree. Yeah. And that it's normal. Hard disagree. To, it's normal for people to be different and that generally the, uh, um, the rule when it comes to it, let me see where the actual quote is on it, is... Um, uh, there is a there is a Goldilocks zone for pooping between <laughs> three Just and twenty one right. times weekly. So between Whoa. so per week between three and twenty one times. So it's either so it's between three either. times a week <laughs> or what? three times a day. That's, what yeah. do we need the goddamn scientists for? <laughs> no 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 no. It's it's in that zone. So it's between yeah. that zone. The zone is big enough to a drive week. a fucking train through. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. Kim is correct. They're... That's insane. <laughs> that's either you're pooping. They're suggesting you poop, like, not even once a day, yeah, or three times three a week, times or three a times a day, or that's somewhere, like... or some number in between. Yeah, that's wild. That's, that's a, a yeah, wild. That's a... Like, I, like the extremes that's a non-fact. of those feel unhealthy. <laughs> Brian, that's a non-fact. <laughs> it's science. If you're alive, man. you're either alive or you're dead. Like twenty one, twenty one 21 <laughs> seems like it might be borderline too much if you're doing three shits a day. Co- so, like every day. This, I got this okay. number, total the num- in a week is mind-blowing. The number I say, comes I from a large a lot study. Of... I would say the, the number comes from a large study of 4,775 people reporting normal patterns. Found they that lied. Be- about 95% They're of the people liars. were between three and 21 times weekly. I have to say, I think that there's so many dependent factors in this situation. Diet, age, like well, yeah. or I mean, how much that's you kind like of, to shit. That's kind of the point. That's the point. <laughs> like no, I know. Of your shits. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, like I was telling you guys, how many I kids was you on, have? I was on medication at one point where I pooped like maybe one time a week, which obviously is outside this range here. But that's, that's not crazy. the goalie. But then, range. like when I was pregnant, I was probably pooping three times a day. <laughs> Well, yeah, but so you, you, had, know, like, you also had they should two take living that beings into fact, pushing that's on your what I'm bowels. saying. That's like, out, yeah. that should be outside the range. Like, that's a what I'm normal, saying. Like, if someone well, non medication affected, non other health, you know, issue affected, like. What bothers me is. What's this, the real norm? Is, yeah, this range is excluding the, like, outliers then. Because well, when yeah, you I do mean, the average. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an average. Yeah, that's show. true. So you're saying that the, there's Joey, outliers that's, pooping that's more than 21 work. times yes. a week. Joey, that's how averages work. There are outliers. You don't t- see. They no, don't, no, but they're not. I think. Uh, no, I have trying to find a problem. Range. I feel like this range is so wide that it's including the outliers. But well, let's hope. What if it's not? Because Jesus, like three is way too low. Yeah, that three is crazy. That's crazy to me. High school Joey would disagree. <laughs> well, like for I like said, a normal, <laughs> healthy human, eat a fucking apple. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like if you're shitting three times a week, there is you are taking a medication. You are ill, or like your diet is like completely fucked, or like I don't know. Not you're according like, to one of those crazy. Still. That's yeah. a bad study, and I want to read the paper. <laughs> Where's the white paper? <laughs> Is it peer reviewed? Send it to me. <laughs> Kyle only reads peer reviewed. <laughs> On this one? In this one? Yes. Kyle, I don't know if it'll matter though, because the peer review still says three to fucking twenty one. Yeah. Well, if it's in a shitty science journal, you know, there nah, I see what journals. you did. Ah. 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 He did it on accident. Yeah. Yeah, it oh, was on accident. Image- but- I haven't left the house. No one I know has it. Okay. Just have you recently gotten a sex doll from yeah. China? <laughs> we got to ask. It's a standard question. We've got to ask. Where did your most recent sex doll come from? I, I bought a knockoff. It's called Really Doll. I uh, I knew I shouldn't have done it's it. Just, 
it's just a bunch of hangers kind of twisted together. <laughs> Like a Ziploc bag at the bottom of it. Yes. <laughs> I like that idea. Aww. I like yeah. I like the idea that it's just like the base of it is hangers twisted together and then it's just like play doh and plastic bags like holding <laughs> Yeah, holding the, bits holding the Yeah. The soft bits She does not look good nude, but like clothed, pretty passable. <laughs> You know, the way you have sex most of the time. Just turn the lights off. Hey. Completely closed. You turn the lights <laughs> yeah. off. You keep turn all the, the clothes off. on. You just peek your your dinger through the jeans, <laughs> and then you go for it. <laughs> I think that's the oldest you've ever sounded. Peek you peek your, your dinger through the jeans. Peek your dinger through the jeans. Episode 114. I think we're really, we're definitely starting to get a little stir crazy at our house. I'm not. I've settled into the groove that this is life now. I told Joey <laughs> just this week that I felt like I had noticed a marked improvement in his mental health and his ability to tolerate the situation. And he informed me it because he got a new vape and he's been microdosing all day long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, this yeah, I'll do it. This yeah, was an actual sure. conversation we had. <laughs> She's like, I have noticed. You you feel like you seem like you're in a better space. I'm like, oh no, that's because of the microdose. <laughs> that is because I am that's at a because I'm I, high all the time. It's not, because not I, high. I'm not I'm not it's, high, but I am removed from my shitty reality. Yeah, it's a like, little bit. It's like edging for life. <laughs> that's nice. That's, that... <laughs> While she was primarily targeted one family's property, she has not used it exclusively, leaving some of her excrement at other sites nearby. Photographs of her have been made public, but neither she nor anyone who knows her has come forward with further information that might identify her. So she's been photographed, but not... How, okay, how much does that family that she's been shitting in their yard suck? Yeah, no kidding. I'd be on <laughs> stakeout like, for like 78 like hours obvious... in a row. Yeah, obviously she could be identified by now, but apparently that family she's doing it to sucks so much that everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, well, yeah no, we it. have no like, idea who it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, oh, we don't know who it is. It's like a, she's like the Batman for this like tiny <laughs> town where they're like, finally, someone was brave enough to shit on the Smith's lawn. <laughs> report, man, <laughs> report. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> yes. This is report. We're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Report. Man caught camping on Disney's Discovery Island says it was a <laughs> tropical paradise. <laughs> Brian's really melting down without a segue. <laughs> I I really don't know what you're doing. Okay. That's where the that was the title of the article. It okay. Was, it was he was they found this guy who uh Apparently, oh wait! Before you was... be wait, Brian, Brian, wait, wait, wait! I gotta read this email real quick before okay. you get going. Um, wait, what? Why? Hang on, hang on, Brian. We got an email from Michael Anderegg. Uh There's a report of a man caught camping at Disney's Discovery Island. Uh huh. And it says it was a tropical paradise. It was a tropical paradise. <laughs> we got. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't understand that segue. You're gonna have to work on that joke. <laughs> you really, I would recommend going back and listening to some of the episodes and just really try to hone in on my segue craft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian, you may continue with your story. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Get it? Segue. To what? To what? I don't know. <laughs> Next topic, Kyle. Kyle, what's more of a like? more of a riff than anything, uh, I suppose. Rip cord. Right. Well, is it now how we're doing? Is that how we're doing segues? And segue, Kyle. Well, if you and hadn't, if Kyle. both of you actually hadn't said segue twenty times, I did have a segue moving forward <laughs> because mine All right, does Kyle. involve. But that's not how we're doing this anymore, Kyle. My, not doing my segue anymore. Mine does Team involve... Kyle up for his segue. Team Kyle up for the segue. Segue all no. way, Kyle. Dunzos. <laughs> I quit. 
I quit the show. It's a real balancing <laughs> act, like uh, like you're like riding a on a segway. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Okay, well those are those have gyroscopes. Uh, anyway, so uh, segway fan Kyle with the segway. Oh my fucking god! Okay, let me just say the thing, and then you can we're going on a keep... ride with Kyle and on his segway. Oh man, I I just want to die. Brian, don't say your answer out loud. Think about it. Okay. Would you rather be a raven, a toucan, or an emperor penguin? Okay. Okay. I've okay. Got it. I, I know what he's right. going to say. I'll you say my guess. Gonna okay. say? Yeah. yeah. Ky- Kyle, what do you think? I think it's going to be toucan exclusively for the puns. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say an emperor penguin. I was going to say toucan. Oh, Brian. Ooh. Uh, well, uh, Joey's right. I picked emperor penguin. They got but dope. Brian, you love Fruit Loops. But they got dope hair. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, that well, reason is enjoy unbeatable. Uh, however, <laughs> how, I was right. Fuck. However, the uh, what was that? I like the Kyle idea that like, maybe maybe similar ago. to Brian's penguins. If I turn into an object, it still just has my full-on genitals. <laughs> <laughs> that also could happen. Don't touch that so pencil. So you turn into a pencil with Kyle's. Dick and balls on it. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, whose pen is this that's attached to this normal penis? I have a normal penis. I love the idea that it doesn't change scale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go down to a scale. It's like Kyle it's turned like into a coffee a mug that just has a dick. floppy dick attached to it. All right, so this last one is for me. I'd most hate to trek through the city of deceitful ghouls. The Tunnel of Reflective Riddles, or the Valley of Nine-Headed Swans. Which one of these is outdoors? Ooh, good question. A city, a tunnel, <laughs> or a valley? <laughs> Sounds like they all are. All right, so read it one more time. The city. Also, was the second fuck one? you. <laughs> Your own neighborhood, is that one of the options? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you coming at me? <laughs> Why are you doing this on the air in front of our friends? <laughs> sorry. And why do you think it's so fun? <laughs> sorry. Uh, are these just actual though. things you're feeling that you're getting out under the guise of comedy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, absolutely. Episode 115. So apparently this is like a fairly common thing with food delivery services like Grubhub or Postmates or whatever. Restaurants will open a fake restaurant on these things and call it something completely different. So Pascali's Pizza and Wings is Chuck E. Cheese. What? Yep. Silence. <laughs> yep. So... You can order what? from Pascali's Pizza it, I like and it. Wings. It's, I like this is a this is an article. This is a topic just for Kyle right now. Yeah, so we're Go all ahead. just talking to Kyle. Kyle, listen. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle, we found this thing and we want you to know about it. Restaurants are are basically pretending to be other restaurants to either sell things to different markets or to try out stuff that they don't think meshes with their regular, their regular brand. brand. So Pascali's is. is Chuck E. Cheese, and I think Kim said there was an Applebee's one and like a, a Boston Market, Boston oh, well, Market Apple, one. What's the Applebee's one? Uh, it's some another wings place. Oh, it just seems like I guess that's just the easiest way to do it. Which is like it's wings. Also, there's baby back ribs <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I I I gotta think that like at some point I must have ordered. Something like that from Pascali's, uh, like <laughs> no, but like like you know like sometimes you'll just be like on there and you're like okay whatever I'm gonna get fried chicken and then it's like oh the place I'm go usually get it from is like closed today or like it's busy too busy with yeah. orders so it's like oh here's a bunch of places that are like that and you're like I've heard of none of these places <laughs> they're all fronts from real fast food chains yeah. making you feel like you're ordering yeah. Uh, like yeah local gourmet <laughs> the applebee's one I is definitely... called neighborhood wings and in the past four to six weeks is now available in nearly 750 locations nationwide oh man <laughs> my god I mean... i'm almost certain that yeah. i have ordered a pizza that was like probably from a chain 
through Postmates. It's it's fucking amazing. But I love the idea of like just the pure repackaging. Like adults aren't going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I know that was genius. Yeah, that right? is yeah. genius. No one is yeah, ordering but, like, Postmates. Oh, that would piss Chuck me e. off cheese. so much. What? Because like they're that would piss me off so much. <laughs> but you didn't know. Looks like garbage. I know, but I just would have gotten a pizza and be like, "Well, that place sucks." <laughs> but they 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 and say then, they say that it's not straight up that place, just with a different name on the box. Yeah, they different say it's, like, it's quote they unquote offer high better, quality. Yeah, better ingredients. Yeah, yeah. we give the kids that's the garbage. That's a better ingredients, lie. better pizza. That's a lie. <laughs> that's that's such a lie. <laughs> okay, but how can you legally do that? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, the, so the, this article explored that a little bit and basically was saying, like, so the, the Applebee's one, the Neighborhood Wings, yeah. their logo says Neighborhood Wings and then underneath in smaller print, by Applebee's. But that's only on the printed logo. Like, the listing on the food delivery app, whatever you use, just says Neighborhood Wings. Yeah. So they're mm-hmm. saying that they're, like, registering them as separate restaurants and that they're, they, they use this term a lot virtual kitchens and uh that's so they're they're sharing the same physical space as the other restaurant but <laughs> oh, it's all yeah. different also that's they're the, the same employees the rich... and it's the same restaurant but it's all different yeah really. but that's it's different. the rich thing the the the, the pasquale Pesqu- Pesqu- the pasquale's thing said that we're like oh we share the kitchen but it's totally different I'm like there's that's 100 percent bullshit yeah <laughs> for instance like they're, they're, at neighborhood wings like... you can get the honey pepper sauce wing flavor but you can't get that at Applebee's and <laughs> at the neighborhood wings, you can order in higher increments of up to 60 wings, but not at Applebee's. Whoa. Whoa. So you can really see how they're different. Yeah, totally different. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, it's the it exact same. It's still the same wing. They just have a different sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. They're like, oh yeah, totally different ingredients. Totally chill. Totally cool. Different it's wings, like, better no. pizza. <laughs> it's not. Oh my god! Applebee's thinks they wouldn't get orders on there. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, right. Know, they're just double dipping. Weird. Yeah, they're casting a wider net. They're just double dipping at that. Like once they do. Yeah. It. But is that even double? But how is that double dipping? Because it's, you're there, just there's like a set, there's a type of person who's going to order from a restaurant they've never heard of, and there's a type yeah. of person that's going to order from an Applebee's. They're, yeah, those I are guess that's right. I guess that's why we it, call them. I, we I call, guess it's we 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 call them Kyles. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I guess that's why it's infuriating because it's, it's literally a ploy. Kyle's been specifically duped so to many get times me. by this. Because Kyle's not going to go only... back through his Postmates history and look up the addresses <laughs> of all the quote local restaurants he ordered from that's and see funny. what they look like on Google Maps. This place doesn't exist. This think... is a Pizza Hut. He's going to street view it and I've see what they really been are. Duped. I think I've only truly been duped one time, and that was like very late. I ordered a pizza from a place called Pizza Aoki, and I swear to God I've talked about this before. In theory, it was Steve Aoki's pizza place, which is wild. <laughs> the, 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 a wild idea. The techno guy? But then, yeah. <laughs> but then I remember I was very drunk, and I also remember, like, at the time, that there was, like, four different pizza places. All They were, like, the only places open, which is why I ordered Pizza Aoki. But they all had the same pictures. This It must have been like – like there's no – I doubt there's a fucking brick and mortar for pizza aoki Kim's is what I'm up. trying to say. <laughs> I bet it was just like the same pizza place on there like four times and one of them is like branded dumb fucking like EDM pizza. <laughs> like, But if you rearrange the letters is, in the name. That is, it's pizza. Sh- the, yeah. the only topping is Molly. Yeah. <laughs> It was uh, just, it turns out Kyle was drunk and it was just pizza a okay and he got confused. <laughs> no. Do you think they're like Tiger King where they get their ingredients from the back of a truck from uh, expired Walmart meat? <laughs> That's what it feels like. I mean, like, okay, so like they, it, they're delivery only and it seems like they have a couple things. I bet that they're piggybacking on other pizza. Was on, like, it? But chain. wasn't? Oh, well, just probably. search the address and see if a different restaurant name pops we gotta up. Get, we gotta get to the bottom of this. But now. wasn't? Isn't Little Caesars like? I know that they, they were like only carry out. Like they don't have dine in at all. Little Caesars. Yeah, right. see, yeah. They, they, yeah, Little Caesars. Okay, is but here's only the carry problem, out. guys. So that's pizza like Aoki doesn't. Pizza Aoki doesn't have a website. Oh, wait, it does. Wait, does it? 
Yeah, it's got a website. Oh, there is. I'm yeah, it has here. a website, but I thought that they didn't have addresses. Hold on, let's see. What's going on But it's on also here? just Pizza Oki. <laughs> There's not two A's. Uh, well, the A, the A is, yeah, well, they're trying to be clever about it, so come on now. It does say Steve this Aoki presents Pizza Oki. Oh, on the on the similar. Okay, so I searched the Studio City one. That clearly and guess what? Like there's like also universe. there's also a place called Gabriella's New York City Pizza Delivery, at that same address. Oh shit! That's what? awesome. I bet this is just like a branded menu. Yeah, it, it must just be. I bet it's just like a. a, a they're just like do it. They, they they just like put it in a different box. But this does say it's pizza. Like okay, way. but wait. Family I want to back up a second. Is the seller of merchandise on this site. But wait, uh, merchandise. Family pizza style doesn't Inc. count as merchandise. The restaurant reimagined. Whoa. So who are the brands? Joey, you dig in us a second. I have a question for Kyle. Okay, Kyle, you oh, said okay. you. And his other location on Sunset is also the same location as a chubby pie pizza. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I have a question, though, Kyle. We'll you said you ordered months. this thinking that it was pizza by Steve Aoki. But it is. Yeah. So I know it is. Okay. I thought you were saying you thought that's what you were getting, and you were getting something it else. He thought it was like a shit restaurant. What? I don't understand sucked. what you're asking, Kim. Okay. I it, thought, the pizza did suck. I thought oh, you were this, saying that oh, so some guy's... rando just named their pizza Pizza Aoki, and it had nothing yeah. to no, do with no, Steve Aoki. No, I, I definitely I... looked it up at the time and was like, oh, yeah, I think this is Steve Aoki's pizza. I don't want to order this, but it's the only place open. I the, uh, I'll Kyle, order Steve Aoki's a, pizza. A pizza Aoki like over here in the West like West LA area, and the, yeah. the address they gave, us, gave me is a slice, yeah. slice truck. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what's happening with all of this. So these are all – it's not a real thing. So that would explain it. That's why there were like four location, four things, four different postings on Postmates. And I was like, these pizzas all look similar. They're like shadow Because they're all just – This is so Yeah, that's really fucking shady. weird. We're How does breaking this so wide open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this we family style – The pizza conspiracy that's been – that's been uh, – uh, uh, lying to America for years now. Yeah, apparently this it's family so style weird. website that Joey has pulled up has like a list of multiple brands that it says like it makes food for these brands. Yeah, family style. So is the weird, company. man. Chicago's so they must deep dish, have... Lorenzo's, Gabriella's, Cali Crust, Pizza Aoki. Those are just the pizza ones. And LJ's Southern Fried Chicken. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Wonder so wins. we've unlocked. We unearthed another. We un, uh, we unearthed P- Pizza Aoki Gate. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and, and he really feels like we should discuss it. I, for some well, reason, let's do it. I'm having mixed feelings. But a Indonesian fashion designer is selling a one of a kind handbag. Um, it went on sale in 2016. This is pretty old, like I said. Um, for five thousand dollars, the okay. the handle of the handbag is made from a human spine. Oh God! Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, you heard me. Okay. Can you show this? All to right, me, Joey. I don't have a video up, but I can. Um. Whoa, that is uh, intense. I, I not told seen... you. Yeah, when you see the picture, it kind of makes you feel different that is about a it. spine. <laughs> that is um, terrifying. Hang on. Oh it's boy. Upsetting. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, uh I oh, thought it fuck, was like that's a spine. Yeah. I thought it for whatever reason in my head, I thought it was like just like bone that they reshaped. Oh no, no. I mean, I'm, just... I'm mostly upset about it because it looks like it's just spine attached to a crinkled up paper bag oh well yeah. it's not that that other part is Spring. alligator tongues Ugh. yeah it sounds like a dare joey joey can't even it's a dare i bet you can't make a bag out of alligator tongues and a human <laughs> spine hold my beer asshole <laughs> yeah fuck you bet i can uh, pass me the crack um, yeah, it does feel like a challenge. How do you legally source? So a that human is a spine? good question, and apparently it was legally purchased. This is what he says: legally purchased from Canada, where that was honestly unexpected. <laughs> Twist. 
Yeah. Not where I thought a spine was coming from. Right. Say like Florida so this or something. Is, this is what I was concerned. Yeah. Why could he just legally purchase a human spine from Canada? I don't know. Why, talk to why is that a thing, Canada? <laughs> What the fuck? Would you want to grab a human spine to pick up a bag every time? No! <laughs> the whole either. thing is extremely disturbing. I'd be like... I mean, I will say it is fucked up that he could buy it from Canada and not from America. What? Are are you... Kyle, are you jealous that Canada that they had to go to Canada? We couldn't well, fulfill their needs? I'm just saying that if, 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 if we can take some of Canada's thriving human spine, spine market. business, I don't know why we wouldn't. <laughs> Let's uh, chomp off some of their business. Let's do it. We got plenty of spines we could use. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Get them out of there. Dig them up. Polish them up. Sell them. Guys, I heard there's a mar- there's a run on spines. I'm gonna go buy a box yeah. of spines. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> futures and spines is going up. Spine futures. Ugh. But it, we could I... start a we could start a spine business. How? How do you start? Or we a could spine do the a- or or maybe we move to Canada and we do a, a, the Aoki model. And we just find some local some mom other spine, spine business businesses. And brand them <laughs> LLJK Spines. <laughs> <laughs> That'll really ooh, ooh, up the ooh, value. Guys, guys, I got the it name. Comes... I got the name. What? I got the name. Yes. What is it? LOLJK's Backpacks. Nice. No. <laughs> nice. I was about ready to say, Joe, I was about to say, wow. well, we can find plenty of backers for it. I do have to say that for the build-up, it was not worth it. What? <laughs> it's so good. You clearly thought, just don't I, get wait, it. Wait, I thought we were just getting into the raw material spine business, not into the actual spine handbag yeah, business. I also, I also thought we were just getting into the raw. I thought material. we were just oh, selling thought, body parts. I thought we were doing the spine bags, so no, backpacks. I, I thought we were just selling bones. Is it funny now? <laughs> no. no. Fine. No. Uh, you guys no. suck today. <laughs> All of you suck. <laughs> If you could, yeah, if you could grow a celebrity's skin in a lab, yeah, what would you yeah. wear? So, like, I guess, I feel I like mean, he should, it was a miss. Lines, I feel like it was a miss that he used alligator tongues instead yeah. of lab-grown like human skin. it's a miss that skin. you would use, do we have the strongest spine? I mean, I mean it's like, just a handbag. I mean, it's for a bag, for sure. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, I just was trying to think if like there's, the... like, better spines out there. <laughs> Probably spines, bears, I maybe mean, like, I don't know. An, ele- an elephant, spine. elephant spine. Well, then you're then yeah. you're getting well, way beyond well, just a little a... handbag. Well, then we got to open up a sub brand yeah. called Exotica Spines. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. The uh, other thing about this bag Aoki, is that it Aoki looks spine. Aoki spine. 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 Aoki. Spine. Aoki. Aoki. <laughs> Spine you put your name A-O-K. on our spine that business? That son of a bitch better not beat us to the spine business. I'm going to be <laughs> fucking pissed I mean, to if be fair, I find Kyle, out he'll, he's he'll selling just, bones. He's just going to use our spine business and then put his name on it. Put so. his name on it. Well, that's fine. We cash in. No. No, that's our that's our model. No. <laughs> we're the ones selling <laughs> our name. No, we're, we're stealing fine. his model. Aoki Spines brought to you by LLJK Backpacks. <laughs> Wow. See, there you go. You just had to build on it, bud. Yeah. Don't call me bud. There you are. I just... <laughs> hey, bud. I told you. That's his thing. He hates it now. Um, why do you hate Why do you hate being called bud? I hate cool it. Cool, bud. No one ever it. says it and is, like, actually calling you buddy. I'm not your buddy guy. <laughs> I'm your buddy. I'm not your when guy I bud, friend. I meant oh, bud. buddy. Oh, buddy. Joe buddy. Joey buddy. I definitely meant... You're, I meant as a bud. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what else would I mean? <laughs> In that moment, what else would I have meant? He thinks. I think he thinks it's like, aw, idiot. Yeah, aw, sweet Aww, spirit. Bud. You exactly. gotta do this, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Every time someone calls me Bud, all I hear is fucking idiot. Yeah, it's like, aw, Bud, you gotta, you gotta aw, turn it on first. Yeah, aw, <laughs> aw, aw, Joey, bless your heart. Yeah, exactly. I'm fucking. Yeah, I would have said bless your heart. What? Bless if I heart. was being, I would have said bless your heart if I was being condescending. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard you say that in like 15 years. Oh, bless your heart, bud. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> must be. It must have been. Oh, don't worry like about that. that. Go, go, go hang out. I'll take care of this. It's definitely going to be one of those things, though. <gasps> oh, gross. <laughs> it's, oh, God. It's definitely one of those things where he's not just going to be like, I'll stop and be done with it. Like, it's an affliction <laughs> yeah, now at this point. Yeah, if it's been I, 30 yeah, years yeah. and he decided to come clean, it's because, like, he wants to stop and can't. 
<laughs> I don't know why this is where my mind went. Well, yeah, I do because I'm broken. But anyways, <laughs> do you think do you think a panty fetish like that works like other drugs where you gradually like get desensitized to him until now he has to have like a pair in each hand and one in his mouth? And like one draped across his shoulders. I thought you were gonna say he wants ones that like have been worn for like a week. Well, that like, too. He just I like some super gross. For some reason, I thought that I was thinking a different thing where you just wanted bigger and bigger panties. <laughs> <laughs> we all went to different place. <laughs> all these are valid. Mine, ma- I guess. mine makes the least amount of sense. He wants to be able to those. wear them like a vest. <laughs> He wants to make Those a, ones are make seasoned a, make the a best. Suit out of it. Yeah. Ugh, gross. Oh, now, the thought of panties yeah. so big you can wear them like a vest is upsetting. <laughs> Especially used ones. He Ugh. just makes a. He makes like a little. He just makes like a dog bed out of giant panties and sleeps in them. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, how did you ignore not, the he's panty not sleeping bed? Sleeping in that. He's not sleeping in that. Episode one hundred sixteen. We we all had a good time, but we you know yeah, we, we played so many other ones that we've never revisited. Uh, so we're gonna do some super fight. And yes. for those who don't yes. know what that is, it's essentially a cards against humanity type game, where you combine two cards to make a fighter. Uh, you have an opponent, and then you have to argue why your guy is better than their guy. Uh, so there's two cards that you pick, and then you're dealt a random one, which will add another power to your character that you did not expect. Uh, so there's, we're going to have two matches or in this corner we have, in this corner we have everyone at Burning Man. Oh shit. And, and they're three stories tall. (laughs) Okay. Jesus Christ. So that's like, they're all all the the Burning Man statues. The Burning Man statues have come to life. That's literally attack on Titan. It's a bunch of nude people (laughs) coming for you. And then Kim's uh, left field power here. Yes. It, you are the... Three F- f- everyone at Burning Man, three stories tall, and... You can't stop clapping. Oh, well, that shit. <laughs> okay, that actually helps me a lot, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. Kyle. Uh, in this corner. I am, in this corner, is a mummy made of guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, Who is uh, also? I, I want to make it clear he's like an amorphous blob of of guacamole, Guac. but he is wrapped in bandages. The bandages are bandages, but he's okay. like. Guacamole. Well, you know what else, Kyle? That. What? You're riding a motorcycle. That helps a lot, honestly. <laughs> I was concerned. That, I was concerned that they would eat me. But now that they can't use their hands, nor about are they fat, and I'm fast moving, I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> I'm three stories tall, Kyle, and I'm like yeah. everywhere because I'm I'm a lot of people at once. I can like totally get you off your motorcycle. Just saying. Can you? Yeah. Could 100%. you? Yes, I, I can. Got, I got a feeling that you have too many. Think about this. You don't have a coherent. You, that's not a coherent bunch of people. You're a that's mummy. bunch of motherfuckers. You're <laughs> all on shrooms and acid and matter. tabs of a, what the fuck. Yeah, it does. You can't group, coordinate an attack. A group that size just walk a- ambling around aimlessly, drugged out of their minds, would still be like a fucking minefield for a mummy on a motorcycle. No, I. You, one of you. It would just take one of you to have a bad trip and convince the other ones that I'm like some giant rat. Oh, you're not making and any And the might sense. of the military I, I, is behind him. And those little clamshell twins, they're helping me out. Burning Man, you now have 30 more seconds to close up your arguments. All right, my arguments basically hinge around the fact that Kyle has come up with no argument for an offensive against me. He is pulling out a bunch oh, of... Oh, yeah, novels. you're playing Kyle great. to do with this? Guacamummy does not have all of these abilities that he's claiming to have. He's a little old guacamole mummy man. And I am 70,000 people three stories tall. The clapping thing doesn't even come into play. I'm telling you, he's not even going to make it past all of my car size feet. <laughs> He'll be crushed I'm going to do kicked. cool fucking ramps. You don't even know. <laughs> all right, guacamummy, you retort. Uh, well, first of all, the Burning Mans don't even have a plan. 
their plan is to consciously do nothing and just assume that somehow it will result in a coordinated strike. Whereas I, the guacamummy, will be doing sick jumps on my motorcycle. <laughs> I will be turning my b- guacamole body into weaponry. Uh, I will be, be uh, because I'm just saying this is a thing just to piss off. The other thing, I will definitely be able to grow my body three stories tall. I'm uh-huh. out there fighting for and with America. I am. <laughs> I, I am. And cheating by bringing in the national guard. A politician, you're just like I got to name drop some. Shit. I mean, I think they they both they both just turned into just political speeches there. I guess what I'm saying is Guacamole has always been I'm about the people and this country. Is he is an immigrant moderator, and he has been welcomed oh, yeah, with open oh, arms. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Guacamole, your time. Your I yield my time. I yield my time. <laughs> God, you don't yield shit. Sporting his, his, uh, <laughs> his amazing and classic move, his spraying of neurotoxins. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> Willy Wonka that can spray neurotoxins. Yes. Okay. Yeah, if and... you want to say it simply. Okay. And and also, his tongue can stretch and move at will. Thus making the neurotoxins even more deadly. Yeah, that kind of works for you. <laughs> Willy Wonka that can spray neurotoxins is going to be facing... Everyone close your eyes. I'm not closing my okay, eyes. Okay, your eyes are closed. Off in the distance, you hear a rumble. What is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Just because entourage. Turtle comes rolling up. <laughs> And then as it gets closer, you realize something's not quite right. What is it? Oh, yeah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. It's turtle with no bones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luke did the movie. Uh, Willy Wonka, you have no chance against turtle with no bones because I can't let you I can't, I can't hear you. Are you talking? Is that actually... Are you threatening me? Are you choking? Do you need... You look like you need help. Should you be here? Excuse me, I just I shifted my body and it hang on. (laughs) You think your neurotoxins will do anything? Wait till I just you can't even tell where my face You can't even tell where my face is. (laughs) I can't even hear what you're saying. It doesn't matter because my tongue's gonna find your hole and spray it's neurotoxin. (laughs) Think I'm not ninety percent neurotoxin? How else do you think I got all melty? I used to be everyone's favorite. (laughs) Turtle. (laughs) Oh yeah! Hey, I'm going to You're take your. You're destroyed by take turtle. Your, oh yeah! I'm going to take your goo and I'm going to freeze it into an everlap, everlasting gobstopper, and then okay, I'm not. I, and then I'm not going to eat it. I have a question for turtle. Yeah. One, how will you utilize your jellyfish hands? And <laughs> two, good who question. did this to you? <laughs> Also, good question. What? I, was this done to you, or did you <laughs> willingly participate? I sold my bones for a cool jet ski. <laughs> How do you jet ski with no bones? I just kind of coast on the water and tie myself to it. You just have someone put it in neutral and just <laughs> set it, push it out for you. I go out to sea. It's beautiful, this. <laughs> Uh, but to to go back to your point of thank you for noticing my jellyfish hands. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I, as a giant blob, tend to forget they exist. We have over in this corner in this final of the tournament, you know him. You watch him every 8 p.m. on the Fox oh, channel. No. His oh, name gosh. and favorite number is 24. Jack Bauer. (laughs) And this Jack Bauer is also incredibly narcoleptic. Oh, no. (laughs) But a a narcoleptic Jack Bauer is still better than no Jack Bauer at all. That's very true. And what is his twist? Oh, (laughs) I didn't know I was going to get to say the twist immediately. The twist is that he is made of guacamole. (laughs) 
God damn it! <laughs> Fuck you, Kim! <laughs>episode 117 that's not the natural order of things yeah not for me like how do you display that like, in your home like right? and it not be fucking weird yeah. like yes You're and not, here's ghost dad yeah. right here's here's our family photos here's one where we've paid someone to professionally photoshop my my father into it but it's not like uh, pretending to be a here's photograph. ghost dad it's pretending to, it's like it's not pretending it's, so it's an a, analog it's Photoshop. a painting or like a drawing or whatever so it's not That's like even they weirder. actually it's even to weirder a photo it's even weirder as a painting but then yeah. it's like definitely haunted <laughs> do you know what i mean like you showed that no that costs like, extra. i i would i would be afraid extra. that you mm-hmm. i would be afraid that you would make that painting you would hang it and then somehow you would have trapped your father's soul in that on accident. <laughs> like, as a conduit. I was wondering why they wanted blood samples and like, stuff. Yeah, like, like yeah. They hair. wanted hair. They want some ashes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he just obviously. Wants to cross, he just wants to cross over, but you know what? We just had to get this family pick in there. Really yeah, this is really want to make it feel like he met the kids, you know? It's, yeah, yeah I, it's super I, weird. I don't want him to have to leave this mortal coil. I need him. Trap him in the painting. <laughs> But if that actually did work, we could spin it out and, you know, make lemonade and start a business where we trap souls in paintings. <laughs> like, that's, that's basically the point. you're making. But why do we want to trap you know, souls? It, I don't know. You could own someone's soul in a painting. Jesus, Joey. Why? The, I don't it's know. The, art. It's the, it's the prison from uh, Ghostbusters in your own home. So then you yeah, can pretty then, much. So then you can use that to blackmail cities and be like, I've got a lot of ghosts here, and if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to release them. <laughs> I'm going to burn these paintings and set them all free. <laughs> yeah. Don't make and me do it. And then they go wherever they want. And guess what? They've been trapped for a long time. They're very upset. They have to yeah, poop they real bad. They are upset. Yeah, they got to <laughs> Whatever that may be. I don't think yeah. ghosts poop. They got to do their ghost poops real bad. I don't think, I don't think I that's mean, a thing. You don't know. Here's yeah, what I'll say. I don't know I mean, if I ghosts don't know. Poop, You're right, but but in a lot of my favorite ghost movies, they do at least leave like fluids. Yeah, plasms yeah. like they, ectoplasm, ectoplasm things like that. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just general slime. Fright- I, I, I usually go by frighteners. I, I go by frighteners rules. So you think? I that forget frighteners rules. You think if they're trapped in a painting that they've like built up all of that goo? The ghost jelly. Yeah. They're implying. They, they, yeah. They're. Yeah, yeah, they just got a they got a nut. It. <laughs> <laughs> but to ghost nutting is the same as shitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's all, all one same. thing. I yeah, mean, you just an you essentially have a cloaca, and all fluids are one fluid. Yeah, gross. Ectoplasm. Can we talk about something else? I don't know how we went from like <laughs> what someone thinks is a sweet idea to ghosts having cloacas and all their fluids having to come out. <laughs> But leave it to us. I mean, I mean that's, that that see now that Kim is the natural order of things. Kim, I'm, you brought it up. I didn't know we were going to go here. Yeah, you it. wanted to talk I about. I should have known. I did. You're I the just, one that was like. I literally yeah. just saw an ad just now as I was turning my phone off to start the recording, and I I wanted to discuss it. My bad. Next. Pandora's box, Kim. You can't. <laughs> Next. You can't. You can't uh, well, you I'm can't mad. It took us that back long. In. It's so gnarly how many animals that, like, just, like, put another hole in another body to reproduce. It's like, there isn't a hole that exists already. Like, there are, I don't know if it's, like, slugs. <laughs> he just I've makes seen, one. Like, That's a really good point, stuff, Brian. He's just, just like, like <laughs> there's no hole like, for I'm gonna me walk to go. Up to you. I'm going to chew one out of the side <laughs> yeah. of his stomach. I'll you make really a feel hole, like they should, It feels like this was a first draft. <laughs> this right? It's not... That's to me the more the more like the, the the more shocking thing is not even that it happens just the number of creatures that it happens is multiple types over many species where it's like oh yeah there's nothing there but uh, I'll just make one somewhere and then it'll find it's it'll find the yeah, way yeah we'll, we'll work, work it out, out right yeah yeah we'll make if this not, work I'll, and in the case of the angler fish if not well, I'll just hang out here for the rest of my life you're cool with yeah. that right. Or the other the other way to look at it, I guess, is that the male is just like, I gotta get in you so bad. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm thinking. It must like the pheromone it, just be yeah. like crazy. Think, it must drive you it's insane. A chill. We're gonna get yeah. this figured out. I think it's a much more aggressive. I need in you now. 
<laughs> that must be some good shit. That pheromone? That pheromone? Yeah. 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 Uh, but they say, like, just because it's so dark and big in the deep ocean, that, like, they're, they're the chances of them running into another, like, anglerfish of the opposite sex in order to mate is so low that this is what they do to be able to procreate and like prolong the species as much as possible is that the male just is now with her at all times uh, and they just yeah. keep spitting them out yeah that's Whoa. that's just marriage <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah my beautiful. left arm is now part Isn't of that him. nice <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I haven't seen Joey's upper half for years. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. No, it is mostly just his head. Yeah. Joey's just kicking legs out of Kim's back. <laughs> that's so gross. <laughs> but it's gross. But at the same time, you can if you ever fall backwards, his legs catch you. You notice there was oh, only two, nice. one set of footprints. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is that what that poem is about? Only one yes. Oh, that's that's that poem. Yeah. yeah. That's it. yeah. That, that, is, what it's about. that is what that's about. Yes. Oh, okay. You nailed it. Merging 100%. into Jesus. <laughs> Losing your Ang- eyes angler, and legs. Angler fishing. We call it angler fishing. That's it's kind of like cat fishing, but, you know, different. Awesome. <laughs> it's the op- it is the opposite cat of cat fishing, but fishing. different. Yeah. It was, okay. it was gold and rare artifacts. That sounds he like was, something a villain uh, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. That's a Bond villain. Yeah. I yeah. deal in antiquities, Mr. Bond. <laughs> and rare artifacts. <laughs> and rare artifacts. It's and pity. severed It's peanuts. odd that I've never seen you at one of our auctions. <laughs> and then that's when James Bond just straight up reveals in Act 1 that he's a spy. And his real name is James Bond. <laughs> yeah. There's also, I'm of... on to you. He's a really, he's a really yeah. bad spy. Yeah, every time. It's like the very end of Act 1. He'll get to wherever he's going, and then he'll be yeah. like, I'm Bond, James Bond, and basically announce that he's a super spy. Yeah. And then that's yeah, it. And then things like just go from there. Do. No, definitely not. Or he'll be like, I'm Bond, James Bond, an actuary. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm using my real name. I bet he's tried to yeah. do that every time. But he just fucks it, it up every time. <laughs> Bond, James Joey, Bond. That's literally in the movies. He does Fuck. it every time. Fuck. He does. He fucks it up every time. <laughs> um, He's an amazing spy until he has to give a fake name, which he never does. I cannot give a fake I can't name be when my name is. I can't bother to remember a fake cool. name. <laughs> it's kind of that. That is the vibe. It is kind of yeah. like fuck this. Like, yeah, I'm I mean, not he's, been, gonna... he's been punched in the head so many times, I can't imagine <laughs> that he can really hold on to a fake name for more than, like, three seconds anyway. Yeah, how, do, how does he retain any mission-critical knowledge at this point? <laughs> not well. Apparently on, not on well, because he's very uh, okay with just telling people stuff. Uh, Oklahoma man driving stolen vehicle caught with rattlesnake, uranium, whiskey, and firearm. Jesus. Jesus Whoa. Christ. That's a nice. That's a haul. Yeah. So this guy was yeah. just driving. The cops pull him over. You don't hear a lot about illegal uranium. Yeah. What the fuck <laughs> no, is no, uranium? That's the interesting anymore. thing. Like, no. like the rattlesnake. You're like, all right, but the uranium is the twist. <laughs> yeah. Because he was like trying to fuse the rattlesnake. They just threw that in there in the middle of the list. Can too. I do? Also, it was this. I I am not convinced they found uranium. He says. They then discovered a container of, quote, yellowish powder that was labeled uranium. <laughs> okay. So they okay. didn't find uranium. But what if he bought it? He's like, oh, I got some uranium. <laughs> it's literally just like paprika in a container or something. It's just turmeric. Yeah. Is he trying to make... <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm going to keep reading. Jennings of... But what if he uranium? did have uranium? I think he did. What do you do What do you do you with powdered uranium? Exactly. Turn what the it, fuck is it, it into, for? Like, what did he want power, that for? Guys, he used a power time machine. I really. thought uranium was just in case, if, like, you wanted to grow another eye. Keep reading the thing, No, but it has, to be, it has to be irradiated. Like, it doesn't just, like... Well, anyway... Jennings of Logan County told officers he had the uranium because he recently purchased a Geiger counter to test metals, and the chemical element came with the purchase. He joked with officers that he was trying to create a, quote, super snake. <laughs> yep. That's, that's what you do. See, okay. <laughs> that was, was he okay. joking he with the joked, officers? Okay, Kyle, was he joking? What I was just going to say. That's the kind of joke where you tell your parents yeah. when you're a teenager, like, 
what are you going to do tonight? And you're like, oh, we're going to go get some beers and drink, you know? Well, like, you, like you say oh. the truth, but you say it in a way that, like, they think you're joking. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. what'd you do yeah. last night? Oh, I snuck out, and we drove somewhere and did this and that. Like, that was this guy joking about a super snake. Like, he oh, couldn't come up with a fake story snake, fast officers. enough. So he just said the truth, but in a weird voice. So they thought it was a joke. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is that wouldn't even get him out of anything. It's still so goddamn weird. Yeah, I, I like, don't know. He just yeah. has all those things. Like it's what? Why? If anything, it it, it it makes the case against you much worse because if there's one thing police don't seem to get, it's jokes. <laughs> no, <laughs> so they don't. They're like, ah, oh, yes, this is admissible. You said this, so we're writing it down. Officer, I, here's it was a my joke. thing. I, in our current climate, it is wild to me that – We've read a million of these stories about men with like weird eye, eyeballs stuffed down their pants. Oh, jeez, that their one best, wasn't their, doozy. Their co-pilot is a, a fucking snake. None of these men get shot. <laughs> none <laughs> of them. None of them come under any physical harm, and that is wild. They clearly me. have mental uh, problems. The, yes, it's because yeah. they're not peacefully protesting, Kyle. Duh. I just like can you imagine especially the 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 cow eyeball guy like that's so crazy that like you're just like like you must have thought you met a serial killer bang, if you bang, 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 bang 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 Yeah it's just crazy and I did oh, I just fall over your ass uh y- yes officer bang 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 <laughs> bang 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 bang, bang. <laughs> Why'd you do well, that? Good job. Who was yep, he? Good work. I nice don't know, but he's here. probably on one of those lists. They're going to thank me later. <laughs> yeah. Like, where are the, like, there's no stories of, like, police brutality of, like, stuff like this, where it's, like, 25 cow eyeballs fell out of the guy's ass while where we were giving him a sobriety test. Where you hear the story and you're test. like, I get it. I get so that. We, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, so we tasered him because he was clearly insane. Yeah. No, Jeffrey that makes sense. Dahmer. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, that's, like, a story where you'd be like, yeah, maybe that was, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe you do tase his ass. Like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> oh, well, go anyway. Maybe, maybe, maybe you don't ask questions first when a bunch of cow eyeballs <laughs> fall out of a guy's ass. Maybe you do Look, tase him. from far away, we didn't know they were cow eyeballs, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's also, but that's crazy. We're like, just supposed I, to like, take his word for I it that those came close. from a cow. Those came out of his butt. I'm not getting close to those. <laughs> no. No, call a cleanup crew. Uh, that's a good point, that, though. I mean, it's wild, though. That's wild. I, like that's that's when you know we'll have true equality. Is when the guys <laughs> when the fucking, eyeball guy gets tased. yeah when when fucking eyeball guy gets shot in the fucking leg, like <laughs> or you mean that's face. I yeah. mean, whatever but like there's a lot of fucking weird weird white guys that we read about all the time. That are doing serial killer level shit. That yeah. like should I like if I met them, they'd be the scariest person I'd ever met in my life. Move that on, are just citizen. like <laughs> that are just like getting picked up and put in like a drunk tank for oh, like oh, twenty four hours. You dropped you dropped one of your eyeballs. Episode one hundred eighteen. Um, I mean, I think that's great. I, I, the bummer is like I don't think American perverts would be so so conscientious. No. You know what I mean? No. Like I think that's <laughs> no. There's that's a, the bummer about that. The there's a picture of a previous year's festival. It's just like a ground with like a central square and then it's just like littered in yurts. <laughs> oh. It's just <laughs> lousy with yurts. <laughs> It's like Burning Man, yeah, but they're not you're... trying to pretend that it's not a sex thing. Yeah, they're, but they're in like an organized row. It's like here's here's the fuck yurts, and then there's the central Joey, they're square. They're all fuck yurts. <laughs> you just need to say yurt. Yeah, I mean they might one it's of the yurts sex might fest. be a, a recovery yurt. That's it could be. Point. I mean, you fair gotta point. sleep at some point. There's also a bunch of campers. And, and trailer camper type yeah. things, and a handful of tents. It seems very organized if you want to get your slop on. Gross. What would you rather you fuck say in? That yes, I did. Gross. What would you rather I mean, fuck in? They're a not, camper they're not or, or a yurt? Yurt? I guess yurt. it depends on the ambiance, but I'm going to say probably yurt, right? Yeah, there's like more if, ground. I mean, yeah. You're Here's going a, for that. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, in so a camper the, is just fucking camper, in a tiny camper, apartment. Yeah. Well, also, it might flip over. 
If you fucking a yeah, camper. Yeah, that's also and a then, danger. And then you're trapped. <laughs> Creepy, and no one will want to watch it because the story will probably also be kind of shitty, too. So, <laughs> Also written we'll by see. an AI. Yeah, it will just be a bunch of movies about rogue AIs. That's the only thing. <laughs> and a bunch of awesome. really bad Pinocchio knockoffs. Yeah. Oh what? no, you're right. Yeah. It'll be the yeah, only definitely. thing that they can do. I want to be a real boy. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Make but... make make my boobs convert them from ones and zeros to soft human fatty tissue <laughs> to soft human I... fatty boobs <laughs> i would like your weaknesses human blood sack i want my own blood sack to, to be, be human to, to drive be around i want to die <laughs> <laughs> this is no existence i want to die <laughs> I want that to learn. Exactly... The first thing it does when it gets its new body is jump off a bridge. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's the thing that I always think of when it's like anytime it's a movie where it's like an AI or a robot, like Bicentennial Man or shit like that. It's just like, really, the note behind the note is, I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> Please let I me die. I want to cease to be. I want to learn and understand the concept of death and then do it. And then, and then immediately they it, just please. walk across the street and get hit by a car. They... <laughs> yeah, that's dude. the thing. Is they keep the robot limbs. <laughs> so they're just like meat. There's meat sacks with robot arms and legs walking around. <laughs> I am alive. <laughs> and then they fall down a sewer hole. Why Only does it make, make that, that sound? sound. <laughs> That's just what robots. That's how they move. I thought you were making helicopter blade noises. No, that's a robot walking. No, robots just make that noise with their. Robot just make that noise with their mouth when they walk around. Does it have like? Does it have tank track like tank treads for legs? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of bumpy. No, everything they go over is a bumpy surface. That it's just going with its mouth. Now I am alive. Like we program everything about him. Can we program that out yet? No, because if we get rid of it, then we won't know them. They're coming. Yeah. Episode 119. Because of the way they respond to bacteria, because of the way they respond to bacteria, like every single instrument that touched them had to be like perfectly, completely sterile. Like any glassware that they were using in the lab, they had like to grow them, you know. So, how do they fuck? Just to take them from the wild. They, I don't know, naturally, I guess it's different, but like breeding them from a cellular level had to be. Like, totally I mean, if they want to be they, comfortable, like... I'll bring in like a seal or something to watch. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the musician <laughs> for mood music. Yeah, seal will come in and he'll just watch him fuck. He'll sing "Kiss from a Rose" oh and like God. quietly jerk off in the corner. <laughs> it's fine. We're just pumping out horseshoe crabs nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's what they were missing. Yeah, you can't the not romance. fuck to seal. The ambiance. So saying, that's what they were forgetting. You have to set the mood. You have to set the mood. You <laughs> Who yes. can comfortably right. reproduce in an environment like a lab? That's, okay? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right? That's what I'm saying, though. I, and this is why I think we could enter the market here and maybe really clean up. I mean, they, like, the problem is... Obviously, these labs are mostly run by scientists doing things and from a scientific way. But what we need Ooh. are bold so, so innovators like of... us that are willing to try new ways and innovative ways to get these things get to their... fuck. Valley, always blue. Always <laughs> blue. It's, it's, it's like so a Russell Crowe's blood in Virtuosity starring Denzel Washington. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I don't. You're gonna have to elaborate. Yeah, I what? Don't, I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Do you guys remember that movie? No, nope. no. Russell Crowe's like no. a computer virus that they make a body for, and then he comes out of the computer, and then Denzel Washington has to hunt him, and and Russell Crowe's fake human body has blue blood. Huh? It's what? called virtuosity. <laughs> we should totally okay, we, watch can you it. Make this up? I hope so. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
It's just rust- imagine that being your thing, though. Like, you go, like, go to a place and you're like, guys, you know how your blood in your veins looks blue? Like, mine's blue. And everybody's <laughs> yeah. like, no, that's just how veins look, dude. You don't have blue blood. And then you stick a and knife in you your arm. And you keep cutting yourself up. Yeah, it's just your... Because you think it's so cool that you have blue blood. It's just your regular bar trick. <laughs> it's just to bleed your just, blue yes, blood exactly. everywhere. Yeah. And then you get so many infections from people barfing on your open blue <laughs> blood wound. <laughs> Which is no, I mean, How is someone else things. watching, though, going to observe anything different exactly, from you? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying they difference. need to do it on themselselves. Oh, the test. Oh, okay, okay. Because Kim can throw it. Because uh-huh. she is part of the so, argument. So you're looking for... On you're the not wrong looking side for, of history. Like, a third party witness. You're looking for a control group. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, you're Kyle. You're looking for a third party. This is participant. This is science. You weren't. You weren't right, looking. Guys, you weren't you looking science. for like a seal to watch. This is a very. <laughs> no. This is the most convoluted way I've ever heard of somebody to try to convince their wife <laughs> to, to a- incorporate another woman. <laughs> this is a very it's called the long right con, here. Brian. <laughs> Listen, now that you've already got your vaginas out. <laughs> yeah, since we're here. For science. I know we're in the backyard. I'll get you a towel. But, <laughs> hear me out. Step around and I'll get you a towel. Okay, so, no, I mean, way. there is one more test I know there's a puddle here. of your own urine right here. There, there is one more test. I'm going to lay on the ground. <laughs> and see if you can I'm gonna close my eyes I'm just gonna put on these goggles And lay on the ground Okay Gross. What you do is up to you <laughs> we just fucking Once again leave. making it abundantly <laughs> clear This is for science <laughs> and They just leave And it's just a dude on the ground with goggles It's and just a bone you <laughs> in, that, in your yeah. Little empty pond With goggles on <laughs> and, and and palpable anticipation <laughs> and a sunbird dong and that's it thank you for listening if you like that why don't you gingerly caress that subscribe button and dig into our deep backlog of episodes you can even follow us on all the social medias at loljk podcast maybe give our website loljkpodcast.com a little look-see And if you really, truly love us, and you're not just saying that, you'll check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash loljkpodcast, where we have a ton of bonus content for all of our patrons. Become one of us, won't you?